Hi Aquarius, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. Um, this is a general reading for the week ahead. All the housekeeping stuff is down below in the description. I just feel like you are sat there contemplating something to do with a relationship, whether take the leap with something in a relationship. Because I had the fall with the two of cups while I was shuffling. Like they were together on top of each other, two of cups on top of the fall. So I don't know if this is something with regards to you and your partner taking a leap into something or taking a leap into another person. Um, but the fact that the fall is there um, would suggest that as long as you invest enough energy into it and commitment and you know it's going to work out, the universe will meet you at your energy and you should be successful. The universe will have your back. Whatever you put in, they, it will back up with you. And that will work out. So I don't know if, um, by the way, make sure with that, I'm really getting the caveat that absolutely, you're, if this is to do with a relationship and you're putting all this effort and love in, make sure you're getting it back reciprocated. Um, it shouldn't be you giving everything. It shouldn't, you shouldn't be the one giving everything all the time. But yeah, it's saying it's safe to take the leap. But anyway, let's see what we've got for you for this week with the cards that are actually being pulled for your reads this may be separate from that but let's see what we got let's see what we've got coming in for you we have the ten of swords oh wow done bang you're done <laughs> that's painful look she's been you you feel like things are coming at you at every at every angle and you are just done right everything's kind of a pressures and anxiety and mental load is just overwhelming to the point where you're like you've gone numb like you can't even process right now because you're so overloaded so overloaded yep yeah, nine of swords anxiety wow so much anxiety but that's good because it goes from the 10 to the 9 which means that you should have your load lightened a little bit and that's also somebody coming in to offer you a flower somebody's coming in to offer you hope and guidance and support somebody's there willing to listen because that's a bird that's air energy that's some and swords are energy somebody somebody is around you that is willing to listen and give you the tools you need to get out of this situation you just need to speak to them and and start doing that higher if you feel right this i know and you're gonna go oh i feel silly doing that that's not um you can feel there's someone around you, like it's spirit. Um, there, there is someone around you and you you know, you kind of feel that they're there for you. But even if you don't feel that way, just speak to the person that you want to call in, that you want to help you. If that's a grandparent or a parent that's passed over or um, whoever it is that you, is on the other side that you want to connect with and talk to, talk to them. And I think you'll start seeing signs. There'll be a certain flower or a certain type of bird or... Um, a song I'm really getting a song oh my god who has songbird somebody's got songbird as somebody that that's their song the Eva Cassidy songbird wow um yeah sorry that's um i'm just listening to it yeah messages coming in messages of love coming in that's them sending you a message of hope and energy they're trying to reinvigorate and raise your energy raise your vibration so that you get back to your powerful self had the empress also come through and the empress is somebody that brings and creates abundance in, to, the, to themselves and those around them and it's not just about um external keeping the home and making sure everyone's fed and everyone's thriving it's also internal in, in expansion which can be like and you have the priest on the bottom so this this can be someone who who guides you through some spiritual um guidance whether that's some sort of regression therapy or ancestral healing or um sound therapy or just um or hypnotherapy or meditation somebody that can guide you through a spiritual practice that that brings you about this you'll know which one it is because they they will give you a path they they are giving you signs messages in order to help you heal they're trying to guide you to where it is you need to be in order to 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 heal and and get this over um and and get not get it over why am i getting get it over that's not 
you want it over right you just want to be out of this already please remember that every emotion that we go through is transient just like you were happy you came out of being happy into other feelings angry sad joyous giggly fun do you know what i mean it's there are, every emotion is transient so just because it feels this painful right now doesn't mean it's always going to feel this painful it will end every storms don't last forever um so yeah somebody from the other side is sending you messages to remind you that help is out there if you need to ask it they are trying to do what they can to bring you what you need the mess they're trying to guide you to things that can help you um to, to get healing to get help so that you can thrive again internally and externally and i'm really getting the internal because obviously that's to do with mental energy and but also on a soul level i kind of feel like you want to expand your soul and um you're not following your life's purpose you're not following what you feel is your life's purpose you feel like you're not doing what you're, you were meant to be doing like you're not thriving at the moment you're surviving um i'm getting counselor if you need to get a counselor yeah this is all to do with your confidence this is all to do with your, your confidence but this is about finding a, a counselor or, or some sort of therapy that helps you process emotions and talk and and kind of get to know yourself and get to know your thinking and and on a deeper level it just kind of feels like you've been dealing with surface problems like you have the anxiety so you go to the doctors and they give you a tablet that dulls the symptoms for a while but, but the root cause isn't gone so that's why you need a talking therapist or a hypnotherapist or or a, a clinical therapist like a, a psychiatrist or not necessarily a psychiatrist but yeah it could be a psychotherapist do you know what i mean there's some sort of talking therapy that needs to happen if this is to do with past trauma start going out and researching um support groups and 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 other techniques that may not have necessarily because i really feel like the traditional things like it's almost like you've gone to the doctors and you've gone they've given you the tablets and they've put you on the the standard cbt course and then they've given you like the six sessions of counselling and that's about it. And you've kind of been left and you're like, but that's not substantial. And unfortunately, if, if you're in the UK, our mental health support is so critically underfunded, especially with a pandemic where everybody is experiencing trauma. And there will be so many cases of PTSD coming on from this, this pandemic and this, this current past year, 18 months that we are going to be at crisis point well i think we already are at crisis point but we're going to be extremely overwhelmed very very quickly and we need to make sure that there are people are being supported as much as they can so i don't know if this is your current situation where you need to go and find that person or whether you are stuck in a career you don't want to be in because you feel like you're called to go and support people through that mental health crisis i feel like there's two sides to this it's either i want to help people and be the support that i didn't have when i needed it or or wasn't available if, if i'd had it earlier it would have been more effective and it's kind of like you want to get into the field so that you can get there and get because it kind of feels like the, the earlier people are given tools the less damage is done to them and the less healing back to, to whatever normal is um to that point so um i don't know if this is you deciding to go and study and, and follow a path into to healing this kind of situation or whether this is you looking for that person that can provide that support for you um but yeah there's it's a choice a choice to go and oh okay you're being called to choose what you can manage and what you can't you're looking you need to look at your mental load what you are taking on you need to delegate you need to share out um the load you need to you can only do so much and you're expecting far too much of yourself it's quite funny you're willing to take stuff on because you don't want to let anyone down um but the fact that you've overwhelmed yourself and gone over the limits of what anybody can manage not you anybody can manage um you're actually beating yourself up about it like i should be able to do this i said i'd do it and then you're putting extra pressure on yourself because you feel like you're letting people down um but it's time for you to get the help it's time for you to reach out and ask for help rather than being the one that's constantly saying yes i'll help you and doing that um you have friends around you that support you you have friends around you that are willing to support you or failing that find a women's circle if nothing else i I've, i feel like somebody needs to hear there's a women's circle where you can just go and it's not even like anybody gives you any advice it's just a safe space to open up and, and talk about our feelings and, and what we're going through with no judgment so um 
yeah there's support out there for you so this is either somebody choosing to follow a path into psychotherapy or um crisis mental health crisis support or um or whether this is somebody reaching that point and needing the support but either way you need to know that there is messages from the other side trying to guide you to where what it is you're supposed to be doing you need to be um aware and listening and open to receiving that from whoever it is watching over you um equally by all means call them in ask them to to come and help you they may they may not necessarily reply but they are hearing you and you will start to see signs that they have heard you and they are supporting you from the other side with whatever they can do um but yeah this is about talking and it is talking about feelings is really what i'm getting whether you're the person that's training to be the person to help with those, navigate those feelings or whether that's you finding support in order to the other side of that. I really feel like there's the two sides of that and there are signs coming in that you're supposed to be doing it and that's that you, you're kind of already aware. But if you're not already, they will be coming in for you to remind you that you are loved from the other side and supported. Um there's going to be a lot of work back to healing and there's going to be a lot of work to get to that point but you are i think you are more than willing to put the energy and effort into it because you know that it will be it will pay off at the end um you will get what you need from it there's that two of cups with the fool again that's just come out the two of cups with the four attached that's weird because i've shuffled them i even riffle shuffled them after and they've still come out together somebody is about if this is to do with your partner don't be afraid to tell your partner i think they will be surprisingly more helpful than you need than you thought they would be more understanding more supportive and that i don't think they'll i don't think they'll be all over you molly coddling you i think they will be supportive in a way that is like well okay and they'll go and signpost you to where you need to go but you have to open up you have to trust your partner if that's not your partner it's somebody that that you have an energetic um it's mutual reciprocity equanimity between the two of you then it's almost like i'm really getting someone goes do you know what i don't love them but they're my soulmate soulmates don't have to be romantic like, i'm not i'm not i don't fancy them and we're not in a relationship but they're my soulmate um yeah they are they are your soulmate soulmates don't have to be romantic um they don't even have to be related to you <laughs> like you don't even like you just know who a soulmate there are so many different soulmates um but yeah, anyway, I hope that is of some help to you, Aquarius. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you again soon with either the monthlies or the weeklies. Bye for now.